Alright, uh, how's it going, eh? Alright, we... I am back. Okay. So it's been quite a long, uh... A long break from, uh, streaming. But, um, do apologize for the, um... Delay right here, too, so figured, well, let me just go... Let me just go ahead and uh, get some things done, get some stuff done w and while I was on vacation. So I figured I'd do something something like that too. And also I had uh, family visiting for that past week, so so I was gone. So, but yeah, good to be back, good to be back. <clears throat> Alright, so today uh, we are going to be playing uh, The Walking Dead. Alright? Hopefully, everybody can uh, hear the game. Hopefully, hopefully. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, uh, give me a second. Ooh, damn. Alright, anyways. Uh, for some reason, this uh, cold front is just coming back right here. Uh... Okay, good. At least I'm not getting a cold, uh, getting a cold for right now, which is uh, good. Good. Ah, yay! Voila. So the Walking Dead. All right, cool. I got it up on the screen. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try out uh, the last episode that I've uh, last played right here. So this, oh yeah. So this should be pretty pretty fun. Um. Let me go ahead and uh, head head into play. Um, before I uh, hit episode one, and before I continue on, let me just uh, go on and and make and tweet out real quick. Cool. Um, already got that. And hit post. All right. At least uh, now everyone's. At least everyone knows that I'm going to be playing right now. So, and I am live today. So, so episode one, a new day. I hope you just can um send me back to the first episode that I've last I previously played on. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. So, anyways, uh, let me take a look. Oh, okay, great. We are we are back into the motel. Oh yeah. I now remember. Yep, this is the same place. Oh my. Oh cool. So I've got. Now I got some control of my character yeah, now. Uncountable severe emergencies in all counties. Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. 
Oh yeah, I remember uh, doing that choice from him, I remember. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Damn. Oh boy. Gonna be playing Walking Dead again. After... After a week. Now I haven't touched this game, but... Thankfully, I am back playing. <clears throat> Normally, I don't get to do this, all, this often. Playing Walking Dead. Hey kid, close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? <laughs> With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Mm. How you doing, Doug? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. You'll be all right. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed help. No. I guess that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would have picked her. Oh well. I always wonder what what if I helped her though. Hmm. But again, I'm gonna be having uh, the Walking Dead posted on uh, uploaded on my profile on Twitch and uh, vid me. I don't know if it supports a long two-hour video. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oh, oh boy. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's oh. right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Shoot. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. 
That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Man. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Uh oh. Uh, okay. I don't know if I could call it okay now. <laughs> oh, damn. I was at the ending of The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh, gosh. Isn't that something? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Uh oh. There's too many of them! Yeah! You never liked my dad. Even back in the drugstore, when everyone thought Kenny's kid was big, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> oh, wow. No more, please! No more, please! 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 <laughs> Damn, and now we start, now we continue on from, uh, see, uh, episode two now. Well, I know what this means now. Well, we well, yeah, have time to get myself started with episode two. <laughs> you and 49% of players choose, um, choose duck. 69% of players were honest. You had 48% of players defend Kenny. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be good. Now we are on episode 2. Okay, let me just go and switch the title on, the, on my Twitch. <clears throat> my Twitch channel real quick while the credits are actually scrolling. Yeah, this is the end of the credits. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me just make this quick tweet r real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so that's done with episode, um, episode one. Okay, it's, alright, so it's not, let me, uh, weapons if I, uh, hit. Okay, let me take a look. Ah, there we go. So here we are, episode, uh, yep, episode two now. All right. I am stoked. Okay, so <clears throat> while this game is loading real quick too, I do want to go and uh, mention real quick that since since I will be playing for a couple hours uh, today, just so y'all y'all know, I'll be uh, I'll be doing at least about three hours. Yep, through pretty much three hours in gameplay uh, today too. So so I'll be posting this up on uh, uh, at all the, my recordings on. This. Yeah. Twitch I want at, the, at the very end. Home now. Uh, you, you keep an eye on that front door. Uh, you are look out. And Doug, then um you got it. Didn't vid me. And I'm Carly. I don't know if it's okay, for long. You'll shift in with Doug when you got long it, videos, but I'll have to find out about vid me since it is a pretty good platform. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hold oh, them. It's terrible by how you play. Mm. <laughs> Oh, we got a fall, like a fall little season going on. Mm. Three months. Hmm. Ouch. <laughs> Damn it! What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Ah, <sighs> well. That's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. <laughs> Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between yeah. the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Maybe he'll be better off without us. We'll have three fewer mouths to feed. And one fewer gun hand. One way or the other, it's a bad situation. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Damn. Don't know I want to say that, but... Oh, well. I think... 
He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. You gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Oh, my hurry, God. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, Lee, this uh, trap's been altered. There's no release left. Oh, no. <sighs> Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Dude, this is bad. You have to really get him out. Bad. You have to. to get me out, please. Please, oh, do blood something. Screaming? We're going to be surrounded any minute. Please, so get me blood. out of this. Try oh, to oh, 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 I should have done the other way. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. You don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Oh shit! Is he? He passed out. Yeah, I should have done something else too, but what then again what other choice should I, did I have though? Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh.
Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are that? these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Jesus Christ. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Oh my gosh. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, I could have left you him here. think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You, you only have four items for ten hungry people. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be pretty hard. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sorry, honey. I don't have time. That was my favorite hat. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's going to want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. 
We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when. Wow, when I remember Stone Mountain. Happened. Holy crap! <laughs> That's unbelievable. Um, it's something that I remember. Want something to eat? Here, Ben. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick me up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really. I really appreciate it, man. Are you out of your mind? We needed that food for us, for our kids. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy it. Oh, yeah. It looks like I'm, I'm going to go against... Hmm. Don't know if I want to restart though. It's to restart the game after this too. But if I'm going to start making better decisions, I'm going to have to do that. Because it looks like I'm going to have to start. Start taking the in charge. Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So... So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Well, all right, that was... I almost want to restart the game, actually. Um, which I actually want to do it, but... But, you know, it's best I continue. Yeah, let me not give... Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. 
Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, well, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah, the children are much more important, so I'll definitely give it to Clementine. Why not? Yes, that's going to work out, too. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? Oh, darn. Okay. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Yeah. I sure don't like him one bit, too. Ugh. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate yeah. that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? <laughs> oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh, gosh. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen... I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. 
Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm Shit. sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? No, that's not what I said. Whatever. I got work to do. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, uh. At least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, oh my gosh. There we go. Get out of the damn way! Damn it! I have it! Fuck! I got him! Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Get on with the damn way! Damn it! I have it! Fuck! I got him! Bad idea. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. <laughs> We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... It works. Of course it works. I 
told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. Yeah, it'll be better to, to defend them. ourselves don't instead. Have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Oh, hell no. We're not gonna What do, do you that. need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. Yeah. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese. I almost, said, when and with the vegetables I almost wanted to say we grow, no, but we got plenty of food. But I'm sure that's... Thanks for coming along, Doug. Uh, then again, sure. you I'd don't like even know who you're going to run about. into. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor room. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. <laughs> and I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food. And also, I can't frankly, really trust them, so use an I'm extra like, helping hand. I really don't know In who the summers, are. I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it up <laughs> yourself! What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Oh my gosh.
And kill them for what? Oh my goodness. Yep, this world is going to hell though. We now know now. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. <laughs> We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from <laughs> Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Kenny's working on getting us somewhere safer. He doesn't think the motor inn will stay safe forever. Sounds like a smart man. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, um... Uh... I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. <laughs> Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Oh my Your gosh. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. This would be a good idea. Yeah, I figure we can. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the hmm. generators before they run dry. They look like Come they... get me when you're ready. You betcha. Being good faith, but This is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Now, that's the thing too. I don't even remember this guy. So, what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is going to help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm going to get back to it. And for anyone that's uh, watching right here on the stream, uh, looks like um, since I'm going to be out with a webcam for a while right here, uh, yeah, so it's going to be quite a while until I could uh, I could save it for a new webcam right here too. But then I, again, I could s still use the old webcam if I wanted to, but I, right now I have it on up on for sale online.
online too, so right now just trying to and make a living on that that one right here. Hi. Hi. Well, so I'm yeah, glad so you right now to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's <laughs> good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these <laughs> days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, Gosh. Well, that'd be a big help. <laughs> Sounds easy enough. I just, I like the accents on, know. Uh, on Sky too. It just reminds me of so much of uh, Georgia. It's just incredible. Even with a lot of the reference that they, uh, that they uh, bring up here, like Stone Mountain, uh, Macon, things like that. Oh gosh, this this game makes it. it Do you think we're doing it really wonderful? To get the St. Play to like it. Us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. <laughs> Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Yeah, let me see if this will work. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. 
You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Oh, gross. Christ. Man. I can't stop thinking about dinner. I swear this game gets... <laughs> Would have been oh, nice to get some this of gets rations. into your stomach. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Uh oh, yeah. Good good point then. Come on, Lee. We don't have all day. Oh wait, yep. Yeah. Oh there we go. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! <laughs> Holy what shit! The... Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! Oh my gosh. We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! What about our arrangement? Come on now! Quick, he'll see you. Did you really think you'd fuck with us? Uh oh. Where's our food, you asshole? You asshole! Wait, hurry up. You gotta leave me the open. You got lucky that time. Yeah, that'll be that'll be so much better. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah the shit that hurts. Uh oh. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. You didn't deliver the good. Now we're gonna take my home. Where do you think you are? Fuck you, Tom. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Oh yeah, I definitely- Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. What about our way back? I really got fucking that. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Damn ambush out there! 
Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, Ch that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. <laughs> oh boy, I know where this is gonna go. Don't know if this was the best decision, but... Oh hell, I made that decision already. All right, well, I'm looks like a feeding look station for the cow. And just to make sure to make sure everything was saved, everything all locked up. Oh, why not? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. Now, sadly, the only one of the things I don't like is like he, he cannot run. Which I don't like. I'm like, really? Something I, that I would love to have seen. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but Gan